Hey everybody, I'm be installing a, uh, a grip sizer. It's a big shrink wrap that goes over any handle, uh, make it one size bigger. Uh, I got a three and five eighths here. I want to make it a three and seven eighths. So basically, you just put it over the racket and take your uh, heat gun. Just shrink it down to the, the handle. Go slowly so you get the whole the whole handle. If you go too fast, it might shrink up on you and not be where you want it to be. I like to start from the top and work my way to the bottom of the handle, to the butt of the, the uh, racket. That way it's easier to cut the excess off. Make sure you get the, the butt of the handle really tight also so it doesn't curl over when you put your tape or your rubber, your rubber grip on. Then I'll just take my uh, utility knife, exacto knife, just cut around the edge. It's easier to do this with the the cord off. I've done it with the cord on. It's a little tougher. Now it's nice and smooth cut all the way around with the uh, exacto knife. Now we're gonna put on the uh, the new head rubber grip. Some guys use some, a lot of different things to secure these on. I've always used hair, just regular old hairspray. Uh, I've actually kept some of this in my bag for guys that have a, want a new grip on and don't have anything. Some guys, there's different, there's, you could use glue. Glue could get quite messy and doesn't uh, dissipate such as uh, hairspray does. Um, hairspray dissipates pretty quickly. You can move it around for a while. So what I like to do, I like to spray it inside, get a nice coat inside, and then right around the butt of the handle there. <clears throat> Just make sure you get the orientation, which way you want it to go, which way you want the handle to, to face. Hardest part is getting it on first. Keep on sliding it all the way down. After you get it on, you got some time to get the orientation where you want it, you know, such as the letters or whatnot. Get all the lines aligned, get it all the way to the end of the butt of the racket. You got quite a bit of time to mess with it. Uh, just get it right, right even. Some guys like it to overlap on the end. Some guys don't. It matters how you hold your racket. Some guys hold the racket with the two fingers or one finger underneath the butt of the racket. Or some guys like the, the end of the palm right on that nud, nub. That's how I like it anyways. And some guys. So just get your letters on the racket all lined up nice and neat. Get it all lined up on the end of the butt of the racket. Best thing to let it sit over a couple hours at least. 
Uh, best is overnight, of course, for anything that you're gluing on. And that's how you do any kind of rubber ra racket grip on any racket. This is my head ignition from Rockaball Warehouse. It's an exclusive racket from them, from head. It's a 171 gram. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.